Oh, more car chases. Hi everyone, we're in the middle of a massive car chase now featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger playing the T-800 Terminator, Nick Starr playing John Connor in probably one of the most miscast roles in recent <laughs> Hollywood memory. In the back of the truck he drives, Kate Brewster, played by great actress but no oil painting Claire Danes. <laughs> in one of the most lavish action sequences, poorly uh, pronounced by me, <laughs> of Terminator 3. In fact, the signature piece, I guess, uh, a crane truck being chased by Arnold Schwarzenegger, then chasing Arnold Schwarzenegger, then chasing Nick Stahl, then ghost cars chasing Nick Stahl. It's like Wacky Races, late, really, isn't it? It is. Hi, I'm Ethan McKinley. This is the Two Minute Terminator, where we break down the Terminator films two minutes at a time. I'm Ellie Fitzgerald, and it's the T3 T2T. T. Hit the music. Howdy, stranger. Don't say howdy, stranger, to me. I'm Chief Master Sergeant William Candy. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! We're back. Yeah. Huh. This is actually Spaldner's favourite part of the film. Uh, well, it's the big action set piece. <laughs> some no, of it. Don't pause the music. <laughs> uh, some of it is actually CGI. Uh, some of it's real. I'm assuming the reason it was CGI for some parts. Because it cost at the time. I think it's one of the most expensive films ever made. Well, this champion thing is... E champion. Bloody massive. What is What is it? Today's bumpy music, music by the way, Ellie, is uh, Brian Tyler's Iron Man 3 score. Ooh. You're impressed, I can tell. I hate Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I love Robert Downey Jr. I hate him. People say they rem I remind them of Robert no, Downey Jr. No, Sophie and Eloise say. No, I got it from several other people. Not oh, really? because of Robert Downey Jr., because of yeah, <laughs> Tony Stark. Yeah. yeah, but you see, I haven't seen Iron That's Man. That's why you should see them and see if you can see this uh, similarity of his, like, genius. Can you see the playful similarity? Playful genius. A little bit, yeah. What, what, look at your face. What's, what's the Not proud of it. I don't think I'm not I'm that big a fan of Robert Downey Jr. It's him. Well, who else is there? Uh, Looks-wise, it's Christian Bale meets, uh, right, no, fucking hell, Ryan Gosling. Ugh. I don't know. I, I I am convinced that you are Chesney Hawks. I'm thankful though, because I mean, when, <laughs> when when Scream was out, I used to get uh, David Arquette all the time, which was mortifying. Oh my god! He's no. also, also one of the most horrific-looking men in shape. Maybe so. when you had really short hair, but you know how I feel about and the short hair. I'm on big hamster hair. cheeks. When I was young, and my heart was an open book. <laughs> Let's get on with the trivia, Ellie. You've seen the clip. What do you trivia, think? Trivia, schmivia. Do, 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 do. There's lots of well, there's a, a couple of quirky uh, sound design bits because boom, yeah, boom. the cars. Uh, I think it's the um, the siren of the police car goes, <laughs> and then when the <laughs> when the blow up bouncy castle bounces across the road, <laughs> I, I quite enjoyed that. Is that a bouncy castle? Or is that a tire? It's like a bouncy castle thing. Play it. Let's play it. There's the magic of loop. You can just take it backwards and forwards willy nilly. You're not looping though, are you? No, because I can't. Because this thing won't. Work. So I'm guessing all of the uh, the champion arm smashing into things. Is well, as the truck CGI? drives along, I'm assuming that I mean in real life that would have just stopped the truck. It would have done a left, yeah. uh, a, an extreme like left turn or right turn. Actually, that's a really good and point. And gone crashing. So that's a, so that's a yeah, the laws up. of physics are a bit don't really apply to that. But we'll get to that in the uh, cock up section of the show. And then we see uh, the. Stunt double smash into the crane. Yep. Is that real or is that CGI? Uh, I don't know. A lot of some of this is CGI. You see, I mean, it's a testament that it's you can't tell in some places. It actually took six uh, months to uh, shoot and make this scene, Ellie. Six months. Yeah. I lost my money back. During the chase scene, why am I turning to Sean Connery tonight? I know I was gonna say the chase scene. Uh, the stabilize, <laughs> stabilize, uh, stabilize the legs on the crane. Right? Yeah. Bouncy castle. Boom. Bouncy castle. You're bloody right. There is a bouncy castle. Yes. It looks like one of the Apollo uh, landing uh, modules. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like rounded and triangular. It is like a little alien it's like a cone, pod, isn't it? It's almost like the Cornetto cone from uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There's that upside down like ice cream cone that goes woo. I really love that movie. I thought that was really good. Yeah. Sorry. That and The Abyss. The Abyss. Yeah. The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. 
amazing. He wasn't in that, but yes. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. thought we were just going through random movies that I liked. No, no, it uh, took uh, six months to shoot this sequence. Why? Because it was very complex and expensive. But and the also, we- but the weather looks consistent throughout. Well, I mean, they ran out of money, didn't they? Arnold, of course, put up, I think, 1.4 million of his own money to kind of get this scene shot and uh, and done, basically. A little chip off his golden empire. Yeah, which was <laughs> like probably less than 1%, wasn't it? Because he made, he got paid 29 million, as he we said. And made then a he made a shitload of money. 40% of the gross, which was about 80 million got a very so. smart lawyer as well yeah so we yeah 1.4 million uh he put up 1.4 million uh, of his salary to ensure that the key scene where the construction crane smashes into the glass building was shot director jonathan mosto was apparently worried that the film was going to run behind schedule and over budget but how have they how have they <laughs> kept the consistency of the weather though because six months a lot happens in six months uh well as you know where's the terminator film shot ellie Come hello on. And what's the weather like in LA all the time? Pretty much 99% of the time. I don't know. It's like that all the time. Hot and sunny. Well, they have to get the Colorado ri- Why River. Why I don't live in LA, I don't know. Part of the Colorado Colorado River gets redirected to LA to supply LA with all its water. Oh. Because LA basically is just a, a, an arid desert town. It's an arid desert town, but I don't know. The reason LA was picked for Hollywood, basically, because <laughs> when they started making films around the times, well, the silent movie times, you could always rely that the weather and the light would be It'd consistent be all the time. You knew what the light was going to be at three o'clock in the afternoon, every day, pretty much for the entire year. And the weather was always going to be like, uh, you know, boringly hot and sunny. I'm going to see if I can get the, the sound of this uh, actual uh, bouncy castle thing, because it is bloody brilliant. Right, let's get the, the volume up on here. Oh, 200. Is that going to be too much? Why would you try to do? I just want to play the sound of the bouncy castle. Okay, go. <laughs> Wait for Wait it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, if there's the transformer arm. Arnie with his trusty shotgun. Yeah, you you've really need to get this uh, loop sorted, dude. We'll get a batteries for your trap pad. This is terrible. This is really bad. Because we're going to have to watch the entire clip now as the listeners listen in. Oh, he's kicked over a... Uh, <laughs> uh, would he have done that? I don't no. think he would have to wait all the power, I no, guess, I to flip say, over a car. No, I was going to say, not bloody heavy. Also, can I just say about this particular clip? Yeah. Brewster would have been absolutely battered to shit if she'd actually been in the back. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. She'd have been hit in the head with that cage a couple of times. She'd be concussed. She'd have broken bones, scratches, bruises. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a squeaky toy, isn't it? Totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bruce, though, she'd, she'd probably be knocked out. Yeah. She'd definitely have concussion. Well, during rehearsals, two weeks prior to the shooting, uh, the crane chase, uh, the crane was involved in an accident and was heavily damaged. It was oh. impossible to acquire a new crane at the cost of $1.5 So the uh, repair crews worked around the clock to have it repaired on time for shooting. For advertising purposes, Ellie, we're going to come to the bit you want to know about now. Are Is this re- the bike? Are you actually ready? Is this the bike? Uh, yeah. You've literally inked this out over three bloody episodes. Uh, yeah, Artisan Entertainment. Arnold. Artisan Entertainment had uh, the rights to the Terminator series, which was one time owned by the same company that owned Indian mi- motorcycles. Okay. So. Is that the brand name? Indian, yeah. They Are we c- talking like Indian or like Red Indian? Uh, like Native American or First, Native well, American. First Nations people, you should say now. Oh, you've got to be joking me. It doesn't matter, they're all dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Indian motorcycles, as in uh, <laughs> First Nations people, uh, they're obviously characterized by the fact on the front mudguard or bumper uh, or the fender of the bike, there is like a glass Indian kind of lamp, which is really cool, with the feathers going back over like the fender. Uh, okay. They started around the same time as Harley. But I guess Harley, I think because of the Hells Angels movement, has gained more step and notoriety, they I guess, sound if that's better. the right word. They're pretty much the same thing. They've got the same V twin engine. So why does that sound weak? Maybe sound design, but it's I mean, they're pretty much the same as a Harley really. Harley uh, purrs. That just kinda goes the Indian the Indian company provided eight motorcycles uh, during the filming of Terminator Three, each of which was configured as a specially made police machine. Mr. Schwarzenegger rode the uh, motorcycle during the exciting chase scene in the film, Terminator 3 Rise the of the Machines. Exciting chase scene. One of the most highly anticipated franchise sequels in the history of Hollywood. It is scheduled for release in two thousand three. Oh, that must have been written in two thousand three. <laughs> 
Uh, I've put a link, uh, obviously, so if you want to buy an Indian motorcycle or check them out, the uh, website for the motorcycle company Scrap is that actually there. Scrap that, Harley. Uh, for advertising purposes, uh, the Indian Motorcycle Company donated uh, eight chief model motorcycles outfitted as California Highway Patrol bikes, as I said, for use in the film. And uh, one of which was destroyed uh, for the purpose of destroying it when it was crushed by the truck during the train sequence. Did we ever read aloud John Nichols' email? Uh, I don't know. Check online for it now. I think we did. But we, we did. Can check. I swear we did Spaldner's mailbag. Yeah. And mail sack. Yeah. But I don't think we did John's because we missed it. And then I saw that you replied being like, I'm so sorry. I've just seen this. We'll do it in the next one. I think we did. But I mean, uh, I'll double check. I'll double up. check. I'll just keep talking. Anyway, listeners. Uh, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> the crane truck itself uh, weighed 140 tons. And the building that Schwarzenegger was plowed into. Uh, Mr. Plow. Which is Plow. the, the Plow. glass Plow. building uh, took two weeks to build. <laughs> the scene in which the crane flips over its entire length was too dangerous to do in reality and had to be done by animation. Now that's weird because, as I said before in the last episode, Chris, Christopher Nolan and Chris Corbold, I think the uh, stunt coordinator on that, he flipped like an 18 wheel truck driven by Heath Ledger. Don't read your own emails. Let's get to the thing, Ellie. Sorry, You're being I distracted got... by your own Facebook. Hey, you do it all the time. It's one rule for you and another for me. I know. That's why I started my own show, so I could pull shit like that. Okay. <laughs> when you've got your own show, I'll happily have my wrist slaps as well. <laughs> I'm drunk on my own power. I'm such a bastard. Uh, would you like a cock up, Eleanor? Cock up. When the TX, and you mentioned this earlier, when the TX fires her weapon through the hole in the windscreen during the cr during the crane chase, where did the hole come from? Well, because she shot through it. No, yeah, she shoots through it, or she's about to shoot through the hole in the in the windscreen. But you don't see that what makes the hole. Well, the first shot in the last two minutes. In a deleted scene, she actually punches through the windscreen. Uh, Why we like don't know. Like another homage to the first film when the first Terminator punches through the window. Well, you'd think why no? though? Because if your windscreen is undamaged, there's no reason to punch a hole in it. I'll have to check out the deleted scenes and uh, add them into the uh, the notes at some point. For Hopefully some reason, in this show, probably in a later one. I don't know. <coughs> I can actually access uh, the uh, messages. Yeah, it should be in messages from uh, John here. Click on here. Ah, nice. Okay. It's not very user-friendly, the old Facebook page. It's really not. Uh, cock up number two. Cock up. Bing, bing. The crane truck, the TX drives, originally had forged, painted white steel wheels. But when the Terminator drops the crane uh, in the sewer and flips the truck, the shinier cast aluminium wheels are seen. Oh. Or as you say in America, aluminum. But you're wrong to say that. It's aluminium. Aluminium. Oh, no, we did read it. Yeah, we did God read your letter. damn it. Sean. I was just <laughs> thinking. Although I did love his Laurel and Hardy gif. That made me smile. Weirdly, they're doing the Morecambe and Wise dance, but I guess because they're before Morecambe and Wise, I guess Morecambe and Wise stole it Give off them. Give me sunshine. sunshine. Morecambe and Wise. Smile. Why do they still get comedy legendary kudos? Why are they on every Christmas? And are yet they? you see less of the two Ronnies. You see less of Spike Milligan. Spike Milligan's great. And... By the same token, Little Britain gets loads of oh, shimmy shine and it's crap, repetitive, me. and the fast show gets nothing. Maybe because Matt Lucas is gay, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, we all know, I'm going to say it because I don't care if I get in trouble because I'm never going to be an actress or famous. Although you should be. But if you're gay, if you're, if you're a Jew, if you're black, any kind of minority... Two Minute Terminator does not subscribe to any of the views uh, given by Ellie Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Guarantee, not guarantee. But it's I'm true. You it is true. Would you like another cock up, Ellie? Cock up. <laughs> <laughs> when the TX climbs back into the crane vehicle as it is passing the building with the blue front that was wrecked by the crane earlier in the chase. So it drives past the building it wrecked previously. <laughs> a bit like a cartoon when you get the same uh, yeah. things. Ellie, would you like another cock up? Oh my god, cock up. It's the up. fourth cock up. <laughs> this is a long one. The entire chase scene where the crane. You know what? There you go. The entire chase scene with the crane uh, ignores numerous laws of momentum, inertia, and, and tensile strength. What does tensile mean, Ethan? Strength. <laughs> That's your homework. Using the crane arm to demolish a steel framed building. 
<laughs> love that thing, doing an a le- English A-level, <laughs> would not only completely uh, mangle the arm, it would also cause the crane itself to crash. Instead of which, it doesn't even slow. Similarly, uh, while the vehicles easily has sufficient mass and momentum to smash cars out of its path, smash, having a ton or so of metal hitting it roughly at 40 miles an hour is going to have an effect on the steering. It wouldn't just uh, casually carry on in a straight line as if nothing happened. Oh, wow. Cock up four is big. Oh, yeah. Big cock up. That's why I gave it to you. Most significantly, after the T-800 drops the crane's hook through the manhole cover, (laughs) the hook would firstly need to actually latch onto something to create the desired effects. Brackets. Instead of just getting pulled right back out again and dragging along behind the crane. Uh, Close brackets. And whatever it anchors itself on would need to be sturdy enough to stop the tens tens of tons of crane if a building can't do it. It's rather unlikely that a, that a sewage pipe... I saw sewage pig. I don't know why. The sewage pipe is going to... Even if such an item could be found, the cable would not tear, up, t- tear through the road without the slowing the crane down at all and would in all likelihood bring the crane to a much slower, more drawn out and less visually impressive, and hence much more boring, stop. Hmm. You could just show a lorry just going along its side for ages. You could. Cock up number five. She counted on her fingers as she did that, listeners, by the way. Uh, during the chase sequence, the T-101... That's for you, it's a visual aid. That's Arnie uh, cocks <laughs> the shotgun while on the motorcycle. But he does it incorrectly. Why? Well, if we had Luke to work, we'd both know, wouldn't we? Oh! Well, in the second one, he has that uh, Winchester that he cocks with that kind of spin. Yeah. That I think was uh, custom made to do that. Cock up number six, Ellie. God, a litany of cock ups. I just don't want many. Uh, during the crane chase, the TX's vision display shows that the vehicle she's controlling, as well as all information about them. Now, on the right side of the screen, vehicle two, the fire truck, uh, mm. is shown to be traveling at 93 miles per hour, which is very unlikely, if not impossible, given the fact they're on a service road traveling through a big city. Also, look at the weight of the thing. Would that, would that kind of caliber of vehicle even get to that speed? I don't know. You'd think so. Because it's really? an emergency vehicle. What, the crane? No, no, no. What? Well, no, she's scanning the other vehicle. She can't go 93 miles an hour. Oh, I thought you I meant she was going 93 miles That's why she sent these vehicles ahead to kind of like interrupt the journey or stop John completely with these emergency vehicles. Also, I guess the added bonus of using ambulance, fire truck, if there is one. People aren't really going to mess with you. Cause well, gonna everyone's going to get out of the way. You just got to, you, you, she's ambulance chasing, as they say, go! in uh, <laughs> Few Good Men. So, yeah, I don't know. Is that, is that all the cock-ups? That's all the cock-ups, Oh, my Ellie. God, that was sick. I feel like yeah. such a slut right now. Well, I mean, yeah. I just, <laughs> think, I just think it's strange that it costs so much money. There's the glass building. So the bit so where this it was smashes 1. through 5 the glass million, building. This is what cost 1.5 million of Arnie's money. He wanted this sequence of him going through this thing. And that's a CGI man being pulled through said building, right? Yeah. I mean, well, the problem is with this as well. I mean, Terminator Physics... His skin would just be ripped and shredded off his body, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, easily. The TX wouldn't be able to make that turn either, I don't think, with the, the feet sticking out of the, like, as they are. She wouldn't be able to make that turn with the uh, support feet. Here comes the fire truck. Boom. It's oh. about to smash into Arnie's face. And it's just stopped. Well, I paused it. Oh. Well, yeah, because we're now at 36 minutes. <gasps> oh, dear. And she smiles as well. Emotion. Uh, right, as a sideline to the news, Ellie, what do, do you think of this? Do you know anything on? about this Kanye West story? No, but I did have a good old chortle at work. Okay, well, Amber, Look, Am- Amber your... Rose, who used to date Kanye West, the chick with the bald head and the giant hands, uh, she's now going out with Wiz Khalifa, another rapper. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. But basically, Wiz Khalifa has created a new uh, strain of weed that you smoke called Khalifa Kush, KK. Yep. Uh, so he tweets basically. Everyone should try KK. Now, Kanye West is dumb as fuck. Assumes that means Kim Kardashian. So goes after Wiz Khalifa oh and goes after God. Amber Rose's kid. So she tweets. <laughs> I love this, this is amazing. This is and actually, it's actually amazing. Ethan's cover photo, which I thought was brilliant. It actually is. God bless you, Twitter. Was it Twitter? Yeah. but I don't know how to use it, but thank Genius God move around. from her. Oh, Kanye West. Are you mad I'm not around to play with your asshole anymore? Hashtag three fingers in the booty ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All my 
sounds like a lyric from a Notorious B.I.G. track. That's amazing. Didn't he have some retort? Yes. Which wasn't funny at all. I hate Kanye. When's someone going to shoot him? Right, Kanye West's return finger tweet, basically. Return <laughs> finger? Oh, God. I mean, really, you should have not got involved with this at all, but he's stupid as fuck. Uh, but he's come he's back. He's genius. He came back with, exes can be mad, but just so you know, I never let them play with my ass. I don't do that. I stay away from that area altogether. Stay away, you frigid bitch. Well, I mean, that to me says he very much does like that. It is true. Yes. And as Shakespeare once said, as "Methinks the lady gets, doth protest too much." I would never someone, do that. As soon as someone I gets stay away from that area altogether. <laughs> as soon as someone gets defensive, you know you've got them. I'm not into that kind of shit. I like pictures and videos of me and my wife. <laughs> so why haven't we got why, the kind of love that can turn exes into best friends? Why is it okay for him to say that, and yet all the people haven't said that's a really homophobic thing to say? I stay away from that kind of stuff. I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, Ugh. I don't think it's homophobic. Well, I mean, I'm sure he is probably homophobic. If he, if, if anyone so else had said anything about females, the feminist would have jumped straight on it. Why is it okay to say one thing and not Well, he has. He's come another. under fire from lots of uh, gay lobbyists now, saying if someone's like sees you as an icon, as a young person developing... What's wrong with taking three digits in the bum? And if they like a finger in their ass or exactly. even a dick and you're going, oh, that's weird, horrible, horrible, you're going to make them freak out, basically. So you're once again misrepresenting yourself with your stupidity. But love the fact, Kanye, that you like three fingers in your bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> three fingers? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's almost the yeah, same... Yeah, girl, put a finger in my ass. That's almost the same dilation a woman needs to be to push a baby out of a fanny. Fucking genius. That's so good. <laughs> But the feud now has been settled, and it was settled quickly after that tweet by Amber Rose, basically. I'm sure it was. <laughs> well your, done. Shut your mouth for the rest of A woman outwit out. a man for once. Me and Wiz spoke yesterday. Good convo. All positive. Yeah, you better be. Otherwise, they're going to tell you what else you like in your ass, you faggot. Wiz Khalifa, <laughs> really? Yeah. Deary me. She's she's quite a beast, though, isn't she? Yeah. She's... Uh, she's... She's could probably she could probably smash through that building <laughs> <laughs> just with her cans oh well have you got anything else you want to say uh i can't wait for the next two minutes well you'll have to wait because uh there's not going to be a show tomorrow because obviously i'll be at work and returning back to birmingham john nichols if you can hear this i am in the area over the weekend you can have your t-shirt Oh my god let's go for a motorway <laughs> lesson we'll pay pay in t-shirts for free <laughs> <laughs> just kidding uh, yeah, but there'll be two episodes again on Friday. And uh, Ellie is apparently at a loose end now. Probably in Saturday. And uh, we'll do another one then. Let's just do them all weekend. Thank you all Actually, for listening Actually, I want to watch... Um, I want to catch up on Marvel movies this weekend. That's what I really want to do. Well, I've set them up for you if you watch them in order. Pasty, that you can watch them separately as individual films, but... There's little Easter eggs throughout the films which are leading up to Avengers Infinity War, which is coming out next year. You didn't like the Age of Ultron. I can't wait for you to. That. I can't wait for you to see Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Not just a great comic book film, but a great conspiracy thriller. It's like the Illuminati government conspiracy. Well, the first one's like it because it's the Hydra, isn't it? It's it is. The, uh, but the, the kind second of spin off one, of the SS, like elevates it to beyond a comic book film. It's like some political thriller. It's like it's it won political acclaim. I mean, sorry, critical acclaim. Probably <laughs> political, political well. acclaim. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's it's almost like aliens it's that kind of exciting and you have to give it your full attention ellie but oh you can't God. see it until you've seen all of them uh iron man one and two and three i think and thor two thor's good because it's got space elves in it i've seen thor yes thor two yes yeah, oh yes <laughs> well thor two is really good but they spend so much time on earth with natalie boring fucking no, that's Portman. the first one no no they do it in this one but more and they've got this amazing idea of these space elves attacking Asgard and they barely like show any of it. And there's all these... I'll show you the elves. Are I amazing. think the only Natalie Portman film I've ever really enjoyed was Leon. Uh, v for Vendetta. Oh, actually, yeah, that was good. But not, because, but not because of her. Have you seen Closer? No. About all the people having affairs with each other? No. Oh. Is it called? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, people will say, um, what's that lesbian? Uh, Black Swan. I didn't rate that at all. They're like, oh, it's such a hot theme with her and, and her and whatever. She's really overrated. What's her name? The other chick that's in that? 
the oh, voice Julia of... Roberts? No. Julia Roberts. Black Swan. Oh, uh, yeah. Baggy-eyed chick. Yeah. Why does everyone go nuts over Look at the elf space suits, look. How cool are they? Jesus Christ. Pretty cool, huh? And that's from Iron Man. And that's from Captain Thor America. Two. Oh, that's Thor 2. They're the dark elves. I was going to say, elves. they do look quite ethereal, don't they? Yeah. Do you reckon they were inspired by the uh, Lord of the Rings? Yes. Armoury. Peter Jackson. Fucking legend, man. Yeah, there's one, look. Looks like Spock. Spock-esque, but he's got really, like, weird eyes. Ooh, that almost looks a bit Blade-like. Yeah. It's cool, but they they really underutilize them Sally it's a great design the idea is good yeah. and he spends most of his I guess to save money on budget so they would be like oh, I gotta go to Earth and get my friends <laughs> and then he spends most of the film on Earth in London as well which is even more an exotic it's ridiculous stay in Valhalla yeah but that's the really good shit yeah so yeah Thor came under fire sadly uh, for being a bit weak a bit like uh, the sound of the motorbike that they use in Terminator. How dare you, Indian motorcycle? Sue the show, sue the show. I don't like it. Would you ride that bike? Uh, I consider getting an Indian motorcycle. Yeah. My only, my only issue with Indians, there's no like intermediary small bike like a Sportster. It's either a giant bike or nothing. Okay. Yeah, but they must do custom ones, right? Yeah. But. Yeah. I mean, obviously in 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 England, there's not many. Indian motorcycle outlets or an infrastructure to kind of get them sorted and repaired. I mean, that's a silly thing to say, I guess, because there's loads of uh, custom places. I know it's going to be a while, but I can't wait for you to get your bike back on the road. Uh, me too. <laughs> How long will it take to build? Me too. I mean, there they are. They're a bit more retro looking. But it's essentially the same thing, Ellie. It's a V-twin uh, engine. Maybe it's because it's a police one. I don't like it. Yeah. But it just sounds naff. Uh, well, police, I mean, they don't really have those kind of bikes for stuff anyway. The only place you'll see Harley's police bikes is uh, uh, Vegas. Is well, this the first time we see a Terminator on a police bike? No, because you see the T-1000 on a Honda in Terminator 2. No, I mean a, the T-800. Uh, yeah. So Arnie, basically. It's yeah. the first time we see him a on a police is, bike. But yeah. yeah, I don't like the, uh, the front fender on the Indian. It's kind of like all... It's not Harley. It's not coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anything more you want to add? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm... Uh, Ethan's just got lost in a world stuff, of uh, motorbikes now. Yeah. You know what? I take it back. I don't really like Indians that much. There we go. They're okay. He's seen that. If I was given one, I probably would sell you it. Just, I was going to say you'd sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They, they, all, they seem to have a sameness. There only seems to be like one or two models of Indians where you've got about four or five when you've got when you look to take Harley into account. Quick question: yes. Is CGI expensive? Yes. When they when they as discussed in the Prometheus Furious Gods documentary I watched, CGI they did a lot of the sets practically with Prometheus because it's actually cheaper <laughs> than employing an effects house as the CGI. Can't wait for that second movie to come out. <laughs> Not. Um, you mean Alien Covenant as it's oh called now? God. So bad. In Ridley's panic after the critical and fan panning, he's going, No, we're doing a separate trilogy outside of Alien. And now he's going back to Alien. Oh, no, it's utterly Stop ridiculous. it, Ridley. He's just not that good. So, the bit where the crane is smashing the CGI Terminator through the building, yes. surely could they not have used just like a model for that? Would that not have been cheaper? Well, no, because I think you've got issues with scale. You can build like bigotures, which they use in Lord of the Rings, and they sometimes do with uh, James Bond movies. Uh, but obviously when you either add water to something or you set fire to it or you try and blow it up, depending on how big the miniature is. I'm enjoying the music. Don't turn it down. Oh, oh it's a good soundtrack. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, it, depending on like, well, well okay, uh, James Bond movies. Sometimes they blow up a submarine and it, it's on fire. Mm. Derek Meddings did lots of the models for the James Bond films. Right. But fire has a certain scale. And you've seen this in films when the effects look shit. It's because the flames, you can't fake the size of flames and yeah. if you do them real. So if the model is the, is the is too small, uh, the flames look too big, it looks kind okay. of off. Yeah, I'm with you. So it becomes that uncanny valley thing. The same with the scale of water. Mm -hmm. When they put like a model ship on real water yeah. and it's not quite big enough, and the, the water looks bigger than the ship and it looks <laughs> like a model. I imagine it's the same thing when you like uh, break destroying something. I mean, they usually blow up a model and then augment it with CGI. In this case, I guess they wanted to use a real building. 
fair. Who knows why people decide things? Just as I saw his body just bobbing about, I was like, they could maybe have just used a model for that. Well, and then, I mean, and then that memory of of you uh, saying that you'd like to use real dolls to like fake accidents and stuff. Oh, dude. More than having sex with one, that's probably idiot. more f like push one of those out of a moving car, or get les scream, get loads of people's attention, then push one off the top of a building. Or have a domestic. Yeah. <laughs> You're ruining my life. Ah! <laughs> Followed by a pram. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been Ethan McKinley. I've been Andy Fitzgerald. This and is this the is T3 the T three two T. Hasta la vista, elbows. Baby. Turn it off. Go on. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I'm stupid in my head. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I have big square hair.